lot of the music people are into cars and well, into it's, racing. It's uh, a noisy rock and roll, really. I mean, in a way, it's the same. A lot of the drivers are like rock and roll musicians. You know, they really live for now, and they don't really care too much, uh, you know, about everything else that's happening in the world. They just want to have fun, and, uh, you know, there's some good people. I'd compare them a lot with uh, rock and roll people, except I think more rock and roll people die than racing drivers. What about Faster, the number that you wrote about uh, racing? Oh, yeah, well, that was a good tune. I mean, maybe they'll play it sometime. I've been circuses Jumped into the deepest end Pushing himself to all extremes Made it, people became his friend Now they stood and noticed him I mean, it was just really a way of, um, you know, expressing my, my liking of the sport and also my appreciation for what you did over those years. And uh, also had a great admiration for Nicky, you know, particularly after what he went through in 76. The people were intrigued, his wife held back her fear. The headline gave a claim, he realized the dream. Nowadays you've got to be very friendly with a lot of the drivers. I mean, you, you've really built up a great friendship. I mean, we've had a great friendship over the years. You had Jody Schechter, Emerson Fittipaldi, yeah. Nelson, and... Ronnie, and Ronnie Peterson, yeah. Well, um, it's, you know, I appreciate in a way the difficulty for the drivers, because, let's face it, it's only in races you really see them, and it's at the race when they're under the most pressure to get the car set up and all this and that. So I tended sort of, to, I mean, Nelson is a great example. I, I never even said hello to Nelson. I'd always just in the background for maybe two or three years, and then I found out through Gordon Murray, he said, oh, Nelson PK, you know, he's so shy of you because he's such a big Beatle fan. And I said, oh, really? So then I went up to him and gave him a big hug, you know. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I realized it's a lot of pressure. And I don't want to... Program. I don't want to be a groupie, but um, yeah, in a way, I've got to know a couple of the drivers. I mean, I admire them and I respect the, you know, how difficult it is for what they're doing. George Harrison with our interviewer Jackie Stewart, who also on that occasion played uh, music director too. Yes, in fact, I did a, a music video with George for that number. I was his chauffeur. He was sitting in the back of a limousine. I was sitting in the front in a full chauffeur's outfit with a chauffeur's cap, but with a tartan band round it, Michael. We didn't let Scotland go. It was a very funny thing. And, and he uh, wrote that song for you, that well, track well, faster. He dedicated it to myself and to Nicky Lauda. And George is one of the brightest, most amusing people you could ever hope to meet. Intelligent, really uh, very amusing to be with and, and good, far-sighted. Apart from his music, I think I I was the biggest Beatle fan. It was great. All right, uh, along with countless millions of others, and uh, we'll be.